we are really organizing this because we see that the biomimicry uptake in the Netherlands and in Europe is growing but it's still somewhat fragmented so we wanted to bring that community together so they can learn from each other see what is happening in the field um, not only on the research side but especially on the implementation side now we are really transitioning to helping business and organization with innovation consultancy piece people are starting to find us because they see that it is delivering results both in turnover or in cost savings and material and energy savings so we are embarking on more projects with organizations to help them innovate through biomimicry. Yeah, so Bio-Inspired Innovation Master Program is more or less in the heart of this uh, conference because it's about biomimicry and bio-inspired innovation. We realized that we needed a new master program that trains students to understand research and at the same time that they are able to uh, design new products. Actually, we were the, the first packaging developer in the world to actually to integrate biomimicry thinking into our innovation process. And it is giving us a, a huge competitive advantage towards our main competitors. And we are getting extremely positive incomes with that. Having managed multi-billion dollar stock portfolios and large research teams in the investment world, I know two things. One is that our current tools sometimes fall short in identifying both opportunities and risks. And second, we really have a human dimension of investing that is still underdeveloped. We have a chance to reconnect investing with the actual world that we live in and to really use investing as a tool to shape the world we want to live in, more importantly. And biomimicry can give us a great example of systems that are regenerative and self-sustaining and thriving uh, that would lead us to better investment decisions. I see biomimicry as one of the best sources of ideas to help us address the three really big challenges that I see that we need to address over the next few decades. And those are uh, shifting from a linear economy to a circular economy, shifting from a fossil fuel e economy to a solar economy, and achieving radical increases in resource efficiency. And if we choose to embark on those three interlinked journeys, then in my opinion, there is no better source of solutions than biology.